Today on Funny You Should Ask, John Lovitz, Sherry Shepard, Louis Anderson, Byron Allen, Caroline Ray, Billy Gardell, and here's our host, John Kelly. Everybody, too funny you should ask the show where every single question has a funny answer. And won't you please, please show your appreciation one more time for these true comedy superstars right here. <laughs> time now to meet our two players of the day. Everybody help me give a very warm welcome to Emily and Garen. What's happening, you guys? Very good. Let's win some money. Here's how we do it on Funny You Should Ask. We play three rounds. I ask the comics a question. They give an answer, and you decide right or wrong. Every correct answer, you earn money. Whichever one of you has the most money at the end of three rounds wins this game, and you'll go on for a shot and an extra $5,000. Five grand. That's what we're planning on giving away today. That's right. That's nice. Uh, by flip of a coin, Garen, you will go first. Every correct answer, $100. All right, let's off. go. Let's get the party started with superstar comic extraordinaire. That's John Lovitz, everybody. John Lovitz. Hey, uh, true or false? A nationwide survey revealed that 71% of Americans don't know their next door neighbors. And that's why I have binoculars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True, John Kelly. Thanks. Garen, right or wrong? Um, I've lived in a lot of different apartments and I always knew my neighbors, so I, I think he's wrong. Correct answer? That is false. $100 for Darren. Good start, brother. <laughs> Emily, this is your shot right here. Let's go to a woman slaying the comedy game on every level. That is Sherry Shepard, everybody. <laughs> Sherry. John Kelly, did you call me a comedy superstar? Yes, indeed, I did. So can I be your Wonder Woman? <laughs> <laughs> True or false? While on an IT call with Verizon, a Texas woman went into labor and the representative stayed on the line to help her give birth. Newborn, who this? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, that's, I believe that happened. I believe that's very true. Emily, right or wrong? I've never gone into labor, but <laughs> I can, I think she's right. The correct answer, that is false. Oh! That is false. Fabricated. Garen, chance for you another hundred dollars. Let's do it with a big time comedy legend, Mr. Louis Anderson yeah! right here. Hey Louis, true or false? If you feed a moose, it may become aggressive and attack the next human it meets if they have no food to offer. Hey, I do the same thing. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say that's uh, true. I feel like there's a lot of animals who would do that, so I'm going to say he's right. Correct answer, true it is. Yes. Darren, you did it. <laughs> Emily, this is your turn. Let's go to a media mogul who's out here changing the game, Byron Allen right there. True or false? An Ohio man was issued a DUI after crashing his motorized bar stool. <laughs> you think a guy with a motorized bar stool would make better choices? <laughs> <laughs> a motorized bar stool, yeah. You know what? Uh, this is true. This one is true. Emily, sound right or wrong? I have no experience in this. But I think he's that's, right. That's good to know, by the way. I think he's right. Okay. <laughs> the correct answer, true it is. That is true. We did it. That's right. We did that. Yes. Garen, back to you. Let's go to the fearlessly funny Caroline Ray, everybody. Yes. Yes. Hey, uh, true or false? According to The Guardian, two people can be legally wed in Montana even if neither is physically present. That is great practice for actual marriage. Um, <laughs> yes. I have no experience about this, but I think... Um, <laughs> I have no idea. I feel like that's such a weird thing to make up that I think it's true. I think she's wrong. The right answer? 
it is in fact true. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Really? They do make an exception if either the bride or the groom are in the armed forces and cannot be present. So then they allow them to do that. So a little side note, we educate as well as entertain. All right, Emily, back to you for $100. Let's go to a funny man representing Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Billy Gardell, everybody. Yeah. Pittsburgh, PA. Yeah. Question for you. Back in 2007, Domino's Pizza changed its slogan to what? Just shut up and eat it. <laughs> Um, I think it's uh, uh, delivery in 30 minutes or less, or it's free. I think he, yeah, I think he's wrong. The right answer? You got 30 minutes. That's what they did, and you got $100. Thank you! That's the end of round one with Billy G. The score is all tied up. We'll be back with round two coming up in just a matter of minutes right here on Funny You Should Ask. It is round two, and two is the magic number. Emily, $200. Garen, $200. However, before we continue, we'd like to get to know our players a little bit. First up, Garen, it's your world. Please tell us about you. John, I'm currently a PR consultant. Uh, I formerly worked as a TV reporter in Tampa, Florida. Okay, that's your story, and you're sticking to it. Uh, if you win some money today, what do you want to do with the cash? Well, I'll use it to go back home to Fort Lauderdale to visit my grandmother. Right, very nice. Go visit grandma. How yeah, sweet. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Emily, please tell the world about yourself. Um, I'm a Harvard student right now, specializing in robotics. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very nice. Well, if you win some money and groove your way to victory, uh, what are you going to do with it? Um, I really want to get my parents a nice retirement gift. How sweet. All right. Take care of your parents. Take care of your grandparents. All right. Great luck to both you players. Let's Thank win you. a lot of money today. Every correct answer now, $200. Emily, you will go first right Ooh, here. Okay. John Lovitz. Question for you, man. According to a University of New Hampshire study, men are most likely to have an affair when? When a woman says yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> uh, um, um, 55. Emily, John sound right or wrong? Still don't know anything about this. Okay. <laughs> I still have no reference. What are they teaching you at Harvard? <laughs> <laughs> That he is right. The right answer? They're teaching her something. 55 is absolutely right. They're teaching you something. What are they back to you. Let's go back All to right. Ms. Sherry Shepard. True or false? According to Jacksonville.com, when it comes to eggplants, the bigger they are, the better. I don't need Jacksonville.com to tell me that. <laughs> Gosh. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> you could have whispered that in my ear, John. No. <laughs> uh, the bigger they are, the better. I'm just going to go with that phrase. Yes. True. Okay. Garen, you heard Sherry. She right or wrong? <sighs> I love Sherry. I think she's wrong on this one. The right answer, that is, in fact, false. Yes. Pay the man. There you go, yes. Garen. Emily, your turn again. And once again, Louie Anderson. Hey. True or false, Louis? According to spermbank.com, yes, spermbank.com, you must be at least five feet eight inches tall to donate. Well, can't they just lower the collection cup? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. That's better, right? <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna say it's false. I think Louis is wrong. The right answer, it is in fact true. <laughs> Emily, $200. Oh, what? Karen, you can tie it up right here with Byron Allen. Hey, man, true or false? Yeah. Some insurance companies sell coverage for alien abductions. The bad news is you were probed by an alien. The good news is you save 15% by switching to Geico. <laughs> You can buy insurance for anything. So I'm going to say that's true. What do you think, Garen? Right or wrong? I agree with him. Why, why would they turn down a reason to get, make more money? So I think he's right. Correct answer is, in fact, true. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Got a tie game. Emily, your turn one more time. Hi, Caroline Ray. True or false? 
In the early 1800s, a pair of twins who were conjoined at the skull became famous escape artists. Yes, and then they tragically died trying to get out of a turtleneck sweater. <laughs> <laughs> with that. Yeah, it, it, I think she's right. <laughs> and I think you have $200. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Karen, you can tie it up right here with my man Billy G. Hey, Billy. Hey, man. Hey, true or false? According to RoadsideAmerica.com, pioneer John Kitchen named a Utah mountain Molly's nipple in honor of his wife. And trust me, you don't want to know what he named the canyon. <laughs> I can't see all the religious people in Utah going, after church, you want to go climb Molly's nipple? I don't... <laughs> so I'm going to say that's false. I think he's right. The correct answer? I guess he respects him. Molly's nipple is actually true. That is true. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Sorry, man. Anyway, that wraps it up here in round two. Emily with a slim lead. When we come back, you two, round three, that's what all goes down. We'll do that coming up right after the break here on Funny You Should Ask. Want to keep laughing? Download the free Funny You Should Ask game app today. Welcome back. Crunch time. Do or be done here on Funny You Should Ask. The all-important round three. The scoreboard shows Emily leading Garen. I'll remind you, whichever one of you has the most money at the end of this round wins the game and goes on for a shot at the $5,000. Yes, yes. Every correct answer now worth $300. Garen, you're trailing. You will go first. John Lovitz here at your service. Hey, John, true or false? Scientists in Maryland have developed a way to make wood completely transparent. Great. They'll never see me coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, true. What do you think, Garen? Right or wrong? On this one, I'm going to say he's wrong. I think he's wrong. The right answer? It's true. Oh, Sorry, man. that's true. Yeah, completely transparent. Emily, you can build on your lead here with Sherry Shepard. Sherry? Back in 2017, the new mission statement of Facebook became, quote, give people the power to build community and do what? Stalk your ex. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I think uh, it gives people the power to build community and make friends. Emily, you heard her. She right or wrong? It sounds nice. Uh, I think she's right. The right answer, bring the world closer together. Garrett, a chance for you to grab the lead right now. Louis Anderson here to help. Hey, Louis, true or false? In 2015, a pair of Queen Victoria's underwear sold at auction for $18,000. Yeah, but they're a little snug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm, a, you know, royalty. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a good price. I'll say true. <laughs> okay. Garrett, is Louie right or wrong? That's 18,000 is a lot. But I'm, I think he's right. The correct answer? True it is. Yes. <laughs> Garrett now in the lead, but Emily, you can jump right back in front right here with Byron Allen. Byron, I've been true or false. Okay. The real life paleontologist who inspired a character in Jurassic Park is working on recreating dinosaurs in the hopes of having one as a pet. Well, folks, we know how this story ends. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, you know what? I think that's true. Emily, right or wrong? I think he's right. And I think you have $300 on top of that. $1,100. <laughs> Darren, back to you. Let's go back to Caroline Ray. Question. According to an article in businessinsider.com, customers who gave birth in the back of an Uber are given a free what? Infection. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Kind of makes it's, sense. It's totally free. <laughs> I think that they would be given a free ride to the hospital because if they charge 
One star. That's what I say. <laughs> okay. Free ride to the hospital. Garen right or wrong? That's a tough one. I'm not sure, because it could be a ride back from the hospital. Uh, really? Yeah. It could be, you know, two really? days later, a ride back from the hospital, you know? I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I think you're right. I think she's right. The right answer, you're giving a free onesie. No! That's what, that Uber, it's not me, it's Uber, a free onesie. I wouldn't make this up. Oh. That bell signifies we are out of time with $1,100. Emily, you are a champion on Funny You Should Ask. We're finished. Congratulations. Hey, man, appreciate you. Have a good time. Thank you. Thank Give it a strong for Garen. Thank, thank you very thank much. You. Emily, back to you, young lady. That money is yours to keep. When we come back, $5,000 on the line. Emily taking the shot. We'll do that right after the break here on Funny You Should Ask. If you'd like to be a contestant on Funny You Should Ask, go to funnyyoushouldask.tv and make it happen. We are back. It is the big money round. Welcome back, everybody, to Funny You Should Ask. Emily, enjoying a beautiful day here. $1,100. That money is yours to keep. Gets a whole lot sweeter if you get through this round. If you do it, we'll add $5,000 to your pocket, meaning potentially $6,100 can be hers. I like the sound of that. That's a nice chunk. Here's how we do it. Three questions, all three multiple choice. You nail all three, and we'll give you that extra $5,000. Emily, we're pulling for you. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, she yes. is. She's, we've confirmed it. Emily is ready. Here we go. Number one, when a person does nothing in a crisis because they think someone else will, it is called what? The bystander effect. Murphy's Law. Hold on, I'm taking a selfie. <laughs> I'm going to go with the bystander effect. Correct answer number one for the $5,000. The bystander effect it is. Yay! I like it. Yay! One down, two to go. Question number two, Emily. According to researchers at the University of Florida, the best way to stop craving junk food is to what? Ignore it. Smell it. Talk about it. Eat it. <laughs> Well, I don't think it could be smelling it. That would make you want it more. Uh, I don't think you can ignore something that you really want, so I'm going to go uh, talking about it is my answer. All right. The correct answer, number two for the $5,000, we were looking for Smell it. Really? Smell it. What? That's what the researchers say. I know. I'm so wow. sorry. No, no. <laughs> That's the bummer news. Crazy. crazy. But what isn't crazy? That $1,100, Emily. That money is all yours. Congratulations. Give them a strong, Emily, please. A true champion here. Comics, thank you so much. Great to have you guys. Thanks for having you. And thank you all for watching. Until next time, here on Funny You Should Ask, keep on smiling. Now let's go say hi. No, thank you. of Entertainment Studios.